and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. Taste of Seychelles celebrates first official encounter with UAE partners. On the occasion of the first official encounter of Mr. Sylvester Raidgond, Seychelles Minister of Foreign Affairs and Tourism, with Middle East Tourism Partners, Tourism Seychelles Office hosted a Taste of Seychelles event at Jumeirah Emirates Towers on the evening of Tuesday, October 26. The event included influential personalities and leading business figures from the UAE, as well as media press and moguls, and trade partners. Guests were taken on a savory journey with delicacies such as coconut nougat, banana chips, and local beverages. As travel restrictions begin to ease throughout the Arab world, more people are able to see for themselves the culturally rich aspects of Seychelles. Alongside the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Tourism, various other government representatives from Seychelles attended the event. The Minister of Youth, Sports and Family, Marie-Celine Zeiler, the designated Minister and Minister of Fisheries, Jean-Francois Ferrari, the Mayor of Victoria, David André, and other notable senior government officials from the Seychelles joined Minister Raidgond in welcoming the guests, who included numerous influential personalities and leading business figures from the United Arab Emirates, as well as various media press, media moguls, and trade partners, to the glittering event. The minister was also accompanied on this mission by the Principal Secretary for Tourism, Sharon Francis, and the Director General for Destination Marketing, Bernadette Willeman, both of whom were there to welcome the guests. Throughout the lively and sophisticated evening, which took place ahead of Seychelles National Day at Expo 2020 Dubai, the guests were taken on a journey of discovery of the savor of Seychelles, where delicacies such as coconut nougat, banana chips and local beverages were served while they were serenaded by Seychellois vocalist Isham Rath and saxophone player Jean Cotter, two Seychellois celebrity artists. In his address, Minister Raidgon stated, as this is my first visit to the Middle East in my capacity as the tourism minister, I would like to thank the people of the United Arab Emirates for their incredible hospitality. Our relationship with the United Arab Emirates has always been close and special. Since our ties to the region began almost two decades ago, the UAE has been the number one Middle Eastern country visiting our islands for 10 consecutive years. Discussing the effects of the pandemic on the islands, Mr. Raidgon denoted, we have been very active in taking the necessary measures in implementing the appropriate travel requirements so that we can protect both our citizens and visitors. Thankfully, our hard work has paid off. At present, approximately 72% of our population has been fully vaccinated. Through this, we can now officially declare Seychelles as a safe country for tourists. Commenting on the event, Ahmed Fathala, Tourism Seychelles representative based in Dubai, said, We are truly thrilled by the turnout of this event. We would like to thank our esteemed guests for making it here today and for extending the warmest of welcomes to Minister Raidgond on his first official visit as the tourism minister to the Middle East. As travel restrictions begin to ease throughout the Arab world, we hope that more and more people are able to see for themselves the multifaceted and culturally rich aspects of Seychelles. An avant-garde of the Seychelles experience is available for those who visit the Island Nations Pavilion at Expo 2020, Mrs. Francis noted, to those who are interested in experiencing their own personal taste of Seychelles here in Dubai, we are happy to inform them that they can now comfortably do so at the Seychelles Pavilion located in EXPO. Under the slogan Conserving Nature, Seychelles is using their heightened platform in the Expo 2020 Dubai to highlight the efforts made by both local and international bodies to protect the natural treasures of Seychelles through maintaining the natural ecosystems and biodiversity of the beautiful islands. It was an absolute pleasure to take our UAE guest on this beautiful voyage to the taste of our islands. It was an opportune time for the Tourism Seychelles team to network with our industry partners, said Bernadette Willeman. With 18,000 visitors recorded from UAE since January 2021, the country is second top source market for Seychelles. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group.
Or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.